Warm Pacific greetings, community. As you know, we're on a journey with COVID. The next leg of our journey has been mapped with the new COVID protection framework, where we activate the traffic lights that helps us focus on what we need to do at every setting. The traffic lights is designed to keep us safe as we go about our daily lives now most of us are vaccinated. Vaccine passes play an important role within the new framework. With My Vaccine Pass, businesses can safely open at all settings. Events can go ahead and we can do more of what we love. How the Traffic Lights Framework Works Regardless of what traffic light setting we're at, red, orange or green, services for basic needs like supermarkets, pharmacies and public transport are open across every setting with or without My Vaccine Pass. We need to ensure that we continue to wear our face coverings or masks, scan QR codes using the COVID Tracer app and have our My Vaccine Pass at the ready. With these tools, we can mobilise to ensure that we and our loved ones are protected as much as possible while we journey through COVID together. Scanning. At all traffic light settings, record keeping and scanning using the COVID Tracer app is required. Wearing a face covering. During red, you must wear a face covering for flights, public transport, taxis, shops, public venues and education. In all other places, mask wearing is encouraged. During orange, you must wear a face covering for flights, public transport, taxis, shops and public venues. In all other places, mask wearing is encouraged. During green, you must wear a face covering for flights. Visiting public places. During red, you can visit public places such as libraries, museums and public pools with limits in place depending on the size of the venue and one meter distancing. During orange, settings remain the same where you can visit public places with limits in place based on venue size and one meter distancing. During green, you can visit public places. Going to workplaces. During red, you can go to workplaces and where appropriate, staff may work from home. During orange, you can go to workplaces. It is the same during green, you can go to workplaces. Attending education. During red, you can attend primary schools, secondary schools and early childhood centres with health measures and controls in place. It is the same during orange. You can attend primary schools, secondary schools and early childhood centres with health measures and controls in place. During green, you can attend primary schools, secondary schools and early childhood centres. Using your vaccine pass. Let's talk about when to use your My Vaccine Pass. Tertiary education. When attending tertiary education like universities and politics, you'll need to remember the following. During red, if you have a pass, you can attend based on the size of the venue. You can have up to 100 people based on one metre distancing. Without a pass, you'll be able to attend online for distance learning only. During orange, with a pass, you can attend tertiary education institutes. Without a pass, you can attend but with public health measures in place. During green, with a pass, you can attend tertiary education institutes. Without a pass, you can attend but with public health measures in place. Cafes, restaurants and bars. When going to cafes, restaurants and bars, you'll need to remember that during red, if you have a pass, you can go to cafes, bars and restaurants. Up to 100 people are allowed based on physical distancing of one metre, seated and separated. Without a pass, contactless pickup will apply. During orange, if you have a pass, you can go to cafes, bars and restaurants. Without a pass, contactless pickup will apply. During green, if you have a pass, you can go to cafes, bars and restaurants. 
Without a pass, you can go to cafes, bars and restaurants with up to 100 people based on physical distancing of one metre, seated and separated. Gatherings at your home. For gatherings in your home, during red, if you have a pass, you can hold gatherings at your home of up to 100 people. Without a pass, you can have gatherings of up to 25 people. During orange, if you have a pass, you hold gatherings at your home. Without a pass, you can hold gatherings of up to 50 people. During green, if you have a pass, you can hold gatherings at your home. Without a pass, you can hold gatherings of up to 100 people. Other gatherings. For other gatherings such as weddings, tangihana, worship, marae and social sports, the following settings apply. During red, if you have a pass, you can have up to 100 people attend based on one metre physical distancing. Without a pass, you can have gatherings of 25 people based on one metre physical distancing. During orange, if you have a pass, there are no limits on gatherings. Without a pass, you can have gatherings of up to 50 people based on one metre physical distancing. During green, if you have a pass, there are no limits on gathering. Without a pass, you can hold gatherings of up to 100 people with the one metre physical distancing rule applying. Close proximity businesses. If you need to go to a close proximity business, such as hairdressers and beauty salons, you'll need to remember that during red, if you have a pass, you can go to a close proximity business with public health requirements in place. Without a pass, you cannot go to a close proximity business. During orange, if you have a pass, you can go to a close proximity business. Without a pass, you cannot go to a close proximity business. During green, if you have a pass, you can go to a close proximity business. If you don't have a pass, you can go to a close proximity business, but staff have to wear a face covering and the one metre physical distancing rule applies. Gyms, dance studios and martial arts studios. If you're attending a gym, a dance or martial arts studio or other member-based businesses, you'll need to remember that during red, if you have a pass, you can attend with up to 100 people while maintaining one metre physical distancing. Without a pass, you cannot attend. During orange, if you have a pass, you can attend. Without a pass, you cannot attend. During green, if you have a pass, you can attend. Without a pass, you can attend with up to 100 people and based on one metre physical distancing. Indoor and outdoor events. If you're going to indoor or outdoor events, such as concerts and cinemas, you'll need to remember that during red, if you have a pass, you can attend with up to 100 people based on one metre physical distancing. Patrons need to be seated and separated for service of food and drink. Without a pass, you cannot attend. During orange, if you have a pass, you can attend. Without a pass, you cannot attend. During green, if you have a pass, you can attend. Without a pass, you can only attend with up to 100 people based on one metre physical distancing. Patrons need to be seated and separated for service of food and drink. Outdoor community events. To attend outdoor community events, such as a public parade or a community fair, you'll need to remember that during red, if you have a pass, you can attend an event with up to 100 people based on one metre physical distancing. Without a pass, you can attend an event that has uncontrolled access with a maximum of 25 people in attendance and based on one metre physical distancing. During orange, if you have a pass, you can attend. Without a pass, you can attend an event that has uncontrolled access with a maximum of 50 people in attendance and based on one metre physical distancing. During green, if you have a pass, you can attend. Without a pass, you can attend an event that has uncontrolled access with a maximum of 100 people in attendance and based on one metre physical distancing. 
If you have cold or flu symptoms, stay home, isolate yourself from others and call Healthline on 0800 358 5453 for advice about a COVID-19 test. Check your region's colour settings at covid19.govt.nz forward slash map. Finally, a big thank you to you for rallying and getting vaccinated. While we may be from many islands, we come together as one in unity knowing that we are on a journey. While all of this is new and will take some getting used to, we are confident that we can call on the wisdom of our ancestors, our first navigators, to help us through the next phase. Let's support each other. Let's hold our positive Basifika spirit as a shining light that our people can focus on and map their journeys to. Let's help each other and keep each other safe.